as you can see right through here there's a lot of waves breaking got a point going out there a little cutaway and then another bigger point and then right in front of me i got this little trough and then out further you can actually see the darker water right through here where there's no waves breaking and then come over here to the right and then there's just this tiny little point so we'll be fishing right out here in this deeper stuff i always like to come to these little points and then right where the point curves i usually have pretty good luck finding samples like i said right there in those points look at all those guys that's gonna be enough for a couple hours of fishing anyways the water's pretty clear i think this uh this is really going to stand out pretty bright in that water. I want to try that on one of mine, then I'm also going to do the standard crab and pink shrimp. And I got a two ounce Sputnik. So this one still has a little bit of the pink fish bites on it from the last trip. So I'm still going to use that one. And then on this bottom one, I'm going to use the sand flea and I'm going to use that green char. I'm gonna put the fish bite on the end, help hold that sand flea in place. Yeah! Might be, might be a pompano. That's a massive pump, man. He's pulling some. Good night, that's a huge pump. Dude, he hit so hard. Dude, he weighs at least 30 pounds. That's like a 40 pound pompano. Dude, that thing is at least, oh my God. Dude, that, that is a freaking pig, dude. That's a hoss. Dude, that's a big pompano, dude. Hey, gum, what's that thing been eating? Apparently sand fleas and fish bites. Dang. That's a nice fish, dude. Look at that, fellas. That's a pretty nice pump. That like it was huge, man. It was ginormous. And they fought like hell, so that was pretty cool. We've got the lines back out in the water now, and uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch more fish. So that's pretty awesome.